today for lesson seven in language arts we will be looking at singular and plural nouns do you remember what a noun is a noun is a person place or thing so singular nouns name one just one person place or thing plural nouns name more than one person place or thing Okay, so singular nouns, name one person, place, or thing. Plural nouns, name more than one person, place, or thing. So remember these rules to make words plural. Add S to most words. So most words, you're going to add S to make it plural. Add ES to words ending with CH, CH, SH, SH, S, X, R, Z. Okay? So you're going to add ES to words ending in CH, SH, S, X, R, Z. Okay? So singular. Zebra. Okay? Zebra is one. Plural. To make zebra plural, you add an S at the end and it becomes zebras okay it went from zebra being a singular word to plural to being zebras okay let's look at the word box do you remember the rule they stated when a word ends in x what do you add do you add an s or do you add es which is it? Let's look back. So you add S to most words. Add ES to words ending in CH, SH, S, X, or Z. So box ends in X, right? So box, you add, to make box plural, you add ES. And box becomes boxes. What about... What about the word tree? Does tree end in ch, sh, x, or z? No. So all you need to do is add s to the word tree. And tree becomes trees. Okay? The word buzz, it ends in Z. So what should you do? Should you add S? Buzz? No, because it ends in Z, you add E, S, and now it becomes buzzes. Okay. So here, you're going to write the correct word to complete the sentence. Blank means one. Which one means one? Blank means more than one. Which of these two means more than one? Is it singular or plural? So if the singular word is given, write the plural. If the plural word is given, write the singular. So here you have the singular words. Here you have the plural. And here you have grape. That's singular. Now you have to make it plural. What do you add to grape to make it plural? Remember your rules, okay? Benches, they give, you the, they give you the plural word benches, and now you have to make it singular. What do you take out from benches to make it singular? Write the new word, the singular wor word here. Boat. You have the singular word boat, you need to make it plural. What do you add to boat to make it plural? Okay, so let's turn to page 26. Okay. So here you're going to circle S for singular or P for plural. Right? Notebook, computers, flowers. You're going to circle if com you're going to circle S if notebook is singular or P if it's plural. And you're going to do the same for all the others. Match the address abbreviation. 
Remember we did abbreviations yesterday, address abbreviations yesterday. And we don't, for address abbreviations, we don't put a period at the end of it. Okay. So North Carolina, which of these abbreviations represent North Carolina? Hint, you look at the first two letters, the first letter in each word. Okay, you go ahead and do this. So underline the verb twice. So you're underlining the verb twice. Okay, then you're going to underline the main noun once. Grandmother likes hot tea. Grandmother likes hot tea, which is a verb, which is a noun. Okay, which is a main noun, sorry. You have to find a main noun because there could be more than one noun in the sentence, but you have to find a main noun. Who is that sentence about? Okay. So go ahead and do we remember and these are things we did in the previous lessons so you should remember how to do them okay so here you have penmanship and you're gonna go to page 62 and do your penmanship and for spelling you're gonna cut out your section two spelling words on page 65 as you did for section one Right, so you're gonna cut out your spelling words for section two. Okay, put your name, put it somewhere safe. You could keep it in your light unit, okay, or you can keep it in your spelling notebook. So, adding s to a word does not add a syllable, adding es adds a syllable to the word. So remember, we add s or es to make a word plural. So sometimes when you add, when you make a word plural, some when you add es to make a word plural, it um, it changes, it adds a syllable to the word. Sorry, sorry for that blunder, right? So when you add es to a word to make it plural, it adds a syllable to the word. So here you have bell, that's a singular word, and you made it plural by adding s, so it becomes bells. Notice that the syllables don't change. Bell. Bells. Syllable doesn't change. Here you have brush. Brush. Brush has one syllable. Brush. Brush. You made brush into a plural word, so it becomes brushes. 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 Now it has two syllables. So whenever you add es to a word, and you get another syllable added to the word, okay? So add s to the word, sorry, add s to, or es to the word to make the plural form. Then write the number of syllables, right? So sniff, sniff, change this word into plural. What do you add to sniff to make it plural? Do you add es or do you add es? And you need to remember your rules from page 25. When should you add s and when should you add es? Okay. Okay. So when you added the correct one, add s or es, you're going to say the word to yourself and tap or you can clap to count the syllables and you put the number of syllables you get here in this small space here okay and you do the same for the other words okay so write a spelling word for each meaning write a spelling word for each meaning blank the first day of the week that's on your spelling list right you're going to look for the word that completes that is for each meaning okay what is the first day of the week? It's on your spelling list. An abbreviation for Sunday. It's on your spelling list. So you're going to do the same for each of these questions. 39, 40, 41, 42. And here, you're going to write a spelling word that has three syllables. 
write a spelling word that has three syllables. So you're going to write a, find a word on the spelling list that has three syllables. Kind of like how the word syllables has three syllables, right? Syllables. Syllables. Right? So you're going to find a word in your spelling list that gives off that you're able to make three taps to. Okay? Then here you're going to write your section two spelling words in your notebook. Please write it in your notebook. Okay? You need to practice writing your spelling words so that you can be able to write them in your test. Okay? And that's the end of your lesson 7.